Ukrainian Defense Forces destroyed 9316 launcher of 9K317BUK M2 complex with the use of US provided HIMARS multiple rocket launcher system in eastern Donetsk region on Wednesday. BUK M2 worth $40 million was struck by the 14th separate regiment of unmanned aerial systems of the Ukrainian armed forces, Ukrainian telegram channels reported. The video of the destruction of valuable BUK M2 was shared on Telegram app. It should be noted that US has supplied Ukraine with dozens of HIMARS in its various military aid packages to date. Another Russian BUK M2 system was destroyed by Ukrainian Special Forces unit on Tuesday. Ukrainian troops intercepted the missile system with the use of Shark drone and destroyed it with Switchblade Kamikaze drone a loitering munition produced by the United States. It should be noted that Russian armed forces started using the Buk M2 in 2008. According to US military, the Buk's variants can be either tracked or wheeled and are designed to take down enemy aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles and other targets. In another development, Ukraine's air defense units shot down a KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic ballistic missile, for KH-101-KH-555 cruise missiles and 24 Shahid-131-136 attack drones in the early hours of June 12. The F-16s will attack the Russian army without entering the territory of Ukraine. Some of the Western F-16 fighters that the partners will provide to Ukraine as part of defense aid will be deployed at foreign air bases. The reason for this is to protect the aircraft from Russian strikes, according to Sahi Holubtsov, Chief of Aviation of the Air Force Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The Brigadier General notes that four countries have confirmed the provision of these aircraft to Ukraine but expressed the opinion that the number may increase over time as almost all countries with F-16s are gradually rearming with F-35s. As for 30 aircraft, 40. It should be understood that not all the aircraft that will be transferred to Ukraine will come to Ukraine now. Some will remain in the centers where our pilots and aviation personnel are trained. These will be Ukrainian aircraft that will be used to train our pilots, he said. In this context, Holubtsov adds that the figure should not surprise anyone. There is a figure that will come to Ukraine. There is a certain number of aircraft that will be stored at safe air bases not in Ukraine so that they are not targets here. The officer reports, according to him, such fighter jets will be reserved for the Ukrainian armed forces in particular, if necessary, to replace faulty aircraft during routine maintenance. According to him, such fighter jets will be reserved for the Ukrainian armed forces in particular, if necessary, to replace faulty aircraft during routine maintenance. That is so that we can constantly have a certain number of aircraft in the operational composition, which will correspond to the number of pilots we will have. Holubtsov said. He adds that if there are more pilots, there will be more F-16s on the territory of Ukraine. The head of aviation of the Ukrainian Air Force Command notes that the Ukrainian side has a certain number of prepared airfields and the number of planes that will enter first this year is known. We know how many will come in next year. We have these plans. If the year 28 was mentioned somewhere, it was mentioned today. Tomorrow it may be 27, then 26, says Holubtsov. The Brigadier General adds that it is not yet known how many F-16s will be promised to Ukraine in the longer term and this may be a plus because with each conference of the members of the Aviation Coalition, Kyiv receives more positive forecasts, more realistic figures, more information that allows us to make this process systematic. 
In 2023, some NATO member states decided to provide Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets and train Ukrainian pilots for these fighters. According to Politico, Ukraine is putting pressure on European countries and the United States to step up efforts to train Ukrainian pilots for the F-16 as Kyiv is not satisfied with the pace and scope of training Ukrainian pilots in the West.